With all the changes to shotguns here in Season 11, they are feeling broken. So today, I want to take a close look at some specific ways you can improve your aim with these weapons. What's up guys, it's Valued, and if you want to stop hitting 9 damage PK shots, then you need to be running drills designed to help you hit those precise shotgun flicks every time. So let's take a close look at my favorite way to warm up and practice my aim, Aim Lab. So look, the firing range is great, as we've highlighted in many videos before. However, you're limited in the scenarios and drills that you can set up for yourself. While you can get a lot of reps with the in-game mechanics like the guns and movement here, there isn't much in the way of helping you improve your raw aim aside from some dummies and targets. Once you get comfortable with the recoil and fire rates of the weapons, the real improvement in hitting your shots comes down to your raw muscle memory. Fundamentals of every single shot you take. And this is where Aim Lab comes in. By allowing you to play countless routines and drills to practice every single aspect of your aim, you can focus on the areas that you actually struggle with. Seriously, the amount of awesome drills on Aim Lab is actually insane. You can decide if you want to work on your tracking so you can hit your R301 shots or flicking onto close range target with your shotties like we're going to discuss today. Not to mention, the analytics and feedback that the game gives you really helps you hone in on your strengths and weaknesses while also rating you against other players for some extra stat tracking. It's quick and easy to get into drills, and today I'm going to run you through my personal fully developed shotgun training simulation. I'd recommend following along, so download the game in the description below and join me on these exercises. So first, let's touch on a couple key settings that you're going to want to make so your drills feel just like Apex. So once you get signed in, the first thing I would do is go to your settings in the bottom right of your screen and make some key adjustments. First, go into your controls tab and click on the drop down window for game profile. Here, you can select Apex Legends and Aim Lab will save a settings profile that is adapted to match the settings provided inside of Apex itself. Next, make sure your field of view is set to the same value as your Apex Legends setting. Not having the same FOV will not only throw off your visuals, but it will also have an impact on how your sensitivity feels. Once this is set, change your sensitivity to match your Apex Sense as well. Keep in mind that Aim Lab does work with controller and mouse and keyboard. You can make changes to your ADS settings and other specifics like dead zones if you're on a controller if you'd like. Personally, I like to stay away from ADSing in Aim Lab as much and just have my core sensitivity as my guide for my practice. But feel free to go more in depth here because the options in Aim Lab are amazing. All right, with that quick setup out of the way, what is it exactly that we're looking to work on to become beasts with the shotguns and Apex? Generally, people refer to these weapons as flick weapons due to their low fire rate and the raw precision it takes to deal lethal damage. This makes them proficient when they're constantly flicking at enemies in between their shots due to the time windows in between the shots. While guns like the Peacekeeper are the extreme of this, even the Mastiff and Eva 8 really lend themselves well to rapid peaks abusing the good use of flick shots. With these gun styles in mind, we can choose different drills to help us practice the skill set needed to use these weapons. If you want to create your own regiment or just try some other drills out, you could hop into the flicking tasks in Aim Lab and find a ton of awesome modes to try out. And guys, let me remind you, if you don't run shotguns in Apex, then this is the video for you because the shotguns in the game are a must have. Anyway, guys, to save you some time, I'm going to give you a few of my personal favorites that I know will put you on the path to mastering the shotguns in Apex. First up, we have Grid Shot. This is one of my favorite all-around target selection tasks on Aim Lab. This drill is insanely valuable because it focuses on micro-flicking. Micro-flicking just refers to making small adjustments in your aim, snapping onto your target, and then landing shots. The key here, and in most of these drills, is to go as fast as you can and try to hit more shots every run. Now, you don't want to be missing many shots, so make sure you're precise, but as you feel your aim consistency rising, raise the pace a bit and really dial yourself into your sensitivity. A helpful tip for this one is to always try to shoot the targets that appear spaced out the most early on. It will keep you from having to do crazy swings across the whole screen to clean up two or three balls that are on the opposite sides of each other. Or maybe you want to purposely do this to up the challenge. That is completely up to you. And if you do that, kudos to you, my friend. All right, guys, the next one I like to run is a bit of a change of pace as it requires you to turn around a lot. Spider Shot 180 has you doing just what it suggests, 180s. This drill will help you a ton with close range fights where you need to change your direction drastically in a hurry. 
When you're maneuvering buildings with a shoddy, you never know where someone will come from. Feeling confident that you can turn rapidly without losing your sense of surroundings and remaining accurate is an absolute must. A quick tip for this one, mix up what directions you're turning around. You don't want to get stuck favoring one side when you have to do a quick whip around. So get used to turning in both directions. Now guys, I will remind you, make sure you don't spam this one because it's gonna tire your arm out. I mean, you turn around constantly in this drill. Okay, so this next one might actually be my favorite for shotguns and one of my favorites in the whole game. Motion shot helps you practice centering and then flicking to a target in a random direction. This is great because it keeps you anchored to the center screen between shots and then helps you snap onto moving targets. This one is great for guns like the EVA or Mastiff in particular that have faster fire rates. It's a very simple drill, but an effective one, and one that you can honestly run for a variety of weapon practice. When running motion shot, focus on hitting consistent shots and not spamming at the moving targets. Some of these moving targets get pretty far off, and if you can quickly snap onto them and take them out, imagine how deadly you'll be with a peacekeeper. All right guys, for my last recommendation, we've got one that requires some serious speed. Burst Flick is a similar concept to Motion Shot, except you're on a tight time schedule to hit the target spawning before they disappear. Some of these timers are awful low and you're gonna need to be fast to manage to take them out in time. I like this one a lot because if you don't flick and shoot the targets before they disappear, it's similar to how quickly an enemy entering your line of sight would take to beam you. It gives you some extra stakes and you can treat it like a time limit before you're fighting a fight from behind with an enemy getting free shots on you. If you're looking for a flicking drill that's really gonna improve you by making you move fast, then make sure to give Burst Flick a shot. So guys, look, these tasks are what you make of them, and you don't have to be in the top 100 scores to be getting valuable improvement. Do your best and track your scores for yourself so that you can actually see the improvement live. I have spent tons of hours in Aim Lab just trying to beat my own high scores, and some of these tasks are really addicting. The amount of information they give you as feedback is really what I value so much. Sometimes it's tough to really know if you're doing better with your practice, but Aim Lab has every single stat you could ever want right there for you to see in real time. So if you're someone who's looking to improve their aim, or maybe you feel like you have the best aim in the world, well, get Aim Lab downloaded and come prove it to yourself today. Alrighty guys, the recommendations I gave you today will have you pumping enemies with your shotguns in no time. But feel free to try out some other flicking drills to help you up your shoddy game. If you have a favorite task in Aim Lab for this weapon type, I want to hear about it in the comment section below. I'm always looking for ways to try and help you guys up your game, so keep an eye out for more Aim Lab focused videos with other weapon types in mind. Anyway guys, it's been your boy Valued, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.